Hey everybody, Josh Apple here with the Raspberry Golf Academy. Today we're going to learn how to plan a golf shot. It's going to be a three part video. This is going to be how to plan a golf shot. We're going to go into execution and then review in future videos. But let's start with planning. So the first thing I do when I get to my golf ball is figure out the distance. Now whether you use a range finder or a sprinkler head, you want to figure out how far you are and that's going to be your exact yardage. So from there, then you're doing things like gathering wind information. It's either going to be against or into, maybe it's across, but that's going to give you a calculation. You're going to add or subtract um, yardage from that original number you took. The next thing you're going to do is figure out elevation. Is it uphill or downhill? Again, you're going to add or subtract yardage from the original number, getting closer to your final number. Beyond that, you need to think about temperature. Is it colder than normal? If it's 20 degrees colder than what you're used to playing in, that might be another 5, 10 yards, even less of the ball is going to go. And then you want to look at line stance. In terms of stance, that's how your feet are. Is it uphill, downhill, side hill? Uh, the golf ball itself, is it sitting down, is it sitting up? That can make it go further or shorter. So basically you want to come to a final number. If you shot it and it's 100 yards and it's uphill into the wind, then it might be 110 yards, 115 yards in more extreme circumstances, maybe even 120 yards. So once that's done, you need to go through your options. By options, I mean, is it a high 60 degree? Is it a low 50 degree? Is it a mid 56 degree? So all these options, you go through different clubs, different trajectories, maybe you're trying to draw, maybe you're trying to fade it. So once you get your number and go through your options, ultimately you get to a decision. Making that decision is gets you committed and it should be something you stand over the ball with confidence. If you're still doubting it, you might need to go through some of your options again. I'm Josh Apple, and that is how you plan a golf shot.